Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Ow, what's up, Saggies? What's poppin', Saggy babies? What's going on in life with Sagittarius between now and the twenty eighth of February? Hmm. <laughs> Are we tempering ourselves and overcoming that feeling of feeling? Why did that happen to me? Why did that person do that? Are we learning the lessons in between the lines? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. All right? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube that can better assist you without cussing. Okay? Because I'm going to do that. All right? To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all will be dysfunctional. We may cry. All right? We may cuss a little bit. But we don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We do share. We grow. We love. We evolve. We enlighten one another, y'all. We are one family, okay? Um, blended family. We all look crazy. If you came to my channel, you got to be a little tad bit, little ski tazy. You know, I'm true to me. Stand up proud in it, you know? Um, <laughs> but also to my returning subscribers, familia, we are pushing through victoriously, you all. Just know that everything is coming together as it should be. There's a uh, such thing as divine time. And we, if we could control time, every fucking thing would go our way, right? So because that we because we can't control time, we have to kind of take life as it's given to us and really just learn how to make them lemons into lemonade, period, all right? <clears throat> so, with that said, this is, you guys, this is just general. It is not a personal, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found below in the description, all right? With that said, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Sagittarius, Sagittarius, hey, <laughs> between now of the 19th of February until the 28th, all right? So let's get it. <clears throat> so we're going to start with your intuitive messages. You guys take a resume to leave the rest. You guys be putting my ass to work, okay? So that's it. But I do it because I love y'all. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> Sagittarius, the intuitive messages that I got with, uh, when meditating on your energy was health issues, karmic releases, Choice, ancestors, legal matters, soulmate, divine partnership, successful business, twin flame, great fortune. Okay, so you guys could be experiencing a lot. Some of you all may be dealing with court issues. Some of you all could also be um, experiencing very lucid dreams during this time um, where your ancestors are kind of giving you this answer key, okay, in order to assist you with your journey. Some of you guys may also be going through some sort of crown chakra activation that I picked up very strongly. And some of you guys could also be working on clearing your chakras, clearing your aura, or going to some type of energy healers. Um, some of you all... For the Sagittarius man, intuitively, I'm picking up a little bit more, y'all, so take it how I go. Let it roll. Um, the Sagittarius man could be dealing with a lot of reconciliations. I'm hearing unfinished business, unfinished business, where you could have cut people off instead of actually dealing with your karma. This could be you, or you could be a Sagittarius man dealing with, I'm hearing Gemini, Virgo woman. They could also be um, having this going on as well. Um, some of you all... Um, some of you guys, it I'm, I'm seeing people falling out of a building. Some of you guys could have, some of you guys, and, and with the falling, oh, spirit. Okay, hold on. Let me get my shit. Hold on. Let me get my shit. Some of you guys could be, if you're experiencing any, I'm going to get in it and get out of it. If you're experiencing any type of dreams as if you're falling, um, you guys really need to go get an energy clearing and protect your energy. Some of you guys have a karmic soulmate that could be trying to do something um, using black magic um, or some type of like bondage or binding. Some of you guys could also be experiencing um, strong, who I'm speaking to with that, you know you'd have, it's the dark circles or dark darkness underneath the eyes here. Um... Thank you, Spirit. I'm, I'm speaking, or you've been experiencing um, not being able to eat or get things done. You're really needing to clear your energy, baby. All right, so I'm in and out of that. All right, let's get it. All right, so, oh, your angel message for this month. 
Okay, your Archangel uh, message comes from the Archangel's Doreen Crystal, Doreen Virtue deck. All right, but the I believe it's the Archangel messages or Archangel Oracle cards. I'm not looking at the damn box. Now y'all gonna make me look at the box because the Aries and me just won't be wrong. Okay, shit, what is this? I won't be lying. The Archangel Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, so your message that you guys received comes from Archangel Gabriel nurture okay your message says as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now okay so i feel sad you some of you guys are feeling like as if there's a feeling of as if something's missing like i have this i can see that i can see where the hell life is kind of taking me but there is something missing okay so spirit what messages do you have for my sagittarians and love Finances, career, what messages do you have for my Saggies? Between now and the 28th, February, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers, for Sagittarius, what messages do you have? Okay, resistance. Some of you all, okay, you could be dealing with another fire sign, okay, but you are this other person. Someone, some of you all are coming out of resistance, okay? Are you coming out of this state of illusionment and really kind of telling yourself that nothing's wrong in your fucking environment during this time? Some of you all have been possibly trying to work it out with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel that at one point you were kind of in this state of uh, confusion, not really making a decision, just kind of confused on which way to go and what really made you happy. But during this time, some of you guys could be uh, being very defensive towards... Um, an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or this could also include another fire sign, or this fire sign could be being a little bit protective uh, towards you during this time, and I feel like the overall intention of you or the other person is to actually work on the foundations of the relationship and fix what's been broken. I feel that this definitely could involve some type of reconciliation. Some of you guys are wanting to reconcile with the fire sign and actually, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, travel towards this person or this person travel towards you and, um, I'm hearing resolutions come to a resolution um, towards some type of reconciliation or some type of family structure. <clears throat> this could also be, <clears throat> excuse me, Saggy, some of y'all really got to work on your throat chakra because I feel like there's an intention of someone who wants to work on something but don't know what to say or how to say it. Okay, and this could be what makes someone feel rejected or left out or make someone feel as if they're not good enough or they don't have enough to present an offer or to be accepting of an offer, okay? But I definitely feel like someone has been manifesting. Some of you guys will be reconciling with an Aquarian person who could have made you feel left out, okay? I feel like the intention of you or this other person is to work on something. Someone wants to work on, work on the foundation and the other person is being very defensive. I do feel like some of you guys could have actually reconciled with an Aquarian person or will be reconciling with an Aquarian person. And you really need to protect your energy, Sag, because for some of y'all, this person is kind of coming in and out, all right? As fast as they ass fly in on this damn bird, big ass bird, they're going to be right back out, okay, with this Knight of Wands. For some of you all, this could be having to do with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like for some of you all, you've been manifesting this person. You could have left this person out or made this person feel abandoned. OK, or this person could have done that to you. But I do see overall, um, I do see things actually working together for some of you all who have been uh, wanting to confused about staying at your job. Some of you guys are confused about moving forward or actually staying at your job. Some of you guys really want to pursue um, your creative endeavors. You really want to pursue going into some type of um, entrepreneurship or some type of like business structure. But you ask it, what you scared for? What you scared for? What you scared for? Jump off the porch, Saggy. Jump off the porch, Saggy. Jump off the porch. Jump off the porch, Saggy. The fuck? All right. It's nothing to fear but fear itself. You're really needing to nurture your ideas. Watch who y'all telling y'all business to during this time. Some of you guys could be moving forward towards an Aries person. This could be Aries or Virgo. I feel like some of you guys, you could actually be moving forward away from a job, okay, where some of you guys could actually be working on, <clears throat> some of y'all could also be uh, receiving some type of promotion during this time, moving on, moving on up <laughs> to the east side, okay, Sagittarius, y'all, let's move, somebody moving on up to the damn east side, you finally got a piece of the man of the, super, of the boss pie, all right, Sagittarius, <laughs> 
<laughs> but some of you guys could also be moving forward or away, moving towards or away from an Aries, okay? Or some of you guys could be, looks like, looks like some of you guys, you can have, you guys could be wanting to move forward in a relationship and work on some type of matter with an Aries person. Could also be Leo or another Sagittarius, okay? This could also be involving children, all right? Or um, actually just a renewal of a relationship, all right? But some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the sign of Leo, but I do see ending one cycle and going into another, all right, whether that is actually having to leave something behind or actually work or renew, work on or renew a relationship. But you're definitely standing in your damn power during this time. Sadly, not letting nobody come in and stir their sauce up. <laughs> what flavor is your Kool-Aid? None of your damn business. It's your diabetic ass. Oh, I'm not going to say that. Y'all forgive me. Because that joke was not funny. I don't have anything can stop it. But y'all know that Aries mouth was just stop, bitch. Don't say that. Ooh, I got to get in my life. I'm glad I'm talking to Sadies because y'all ain't too sensitive. Ooh, had I been talking to Kansas or somebody, honey, that would have been. I'd have had like 13 fucking emails. Oh, girl. Yes, people is always trying to be, I, I have a few Sagittarian friends, and what I notice is, is that y'all attract a lot of people, even 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 if it's your family members, y'all attract a lot of people who try to project their fears on you, and you also attract a lot of people who need help. Why do y'all attract the help, the, the, the help, the needing help people? Y'all attract everybody who life is broken, and I feel like it has to do with most, with the fact that most of you all are empaths, which is why you're really needing to protect your energy. Okay, so I definitely see there you are going to be going into a new cycle where there is balance, okay, to a situation and balance to uh, the vibration of feeling as if you're left out, all right? Someone wants to come in and actually extend their love to you if you actually move forward towards it instead of kind of sitting in your head, okay? Because I definitely feel, sadly, for some for some reason, I do feel this could be you with the resistance and stubbornness and you came by shit with pride, so fix it, honey, okay? So with that said... <clears throat> Yeah, I definitely see a renewal, okay? The end of heartbreak, the end of uh, feeling as if you were betrayed, the end of someone feeling as if, you know, they have to be accepting to someone who is still going out here exploring their damn options, okay? Or not wanting to work on a relationship and really more so focused on their independence or giving it just a little, just a little bit to get by towards the relationship. I definitely feel like someone has been manifesting the truth, manifesting movement, momentum, and I definitely feel that someone is going to be standing their ground. It's like, what, what the hell are we doing? What are we doing? Some of you all could also be dealing with another Sagittarius, but I definitely feel that the um the sense of some of you all could also be dealing with someone who's juggling and you're just ending a cycle. Some of y'all could also be balancing um balancing a situation by leaving someone out in the cold who could be um an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus. <clears throat> Due to flighty energy, you know, there's always this reconciliation. We hook up. We start this little situation, ship, shit don't go nowhere. We just stand still. Well, nobody want to be a damn tree, sadly. So I'm supposed to just stand here, just go nowhere. Every damn thing in life I could be, you just want me to just be a damn tree or a pole or a sign. All that shit to get passed by. Look, don't get me started. Girl, why is the star card here for my Sagittarians? All right, I'm going to take them both. Yeah. But some of you all, yeah, resistance to, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarian person, okay, or another fire sign, where there's a, there's this desire to start something new, okay, there's the passion that's there, but there's also a sense of resistance because someone has a fear that they're going to be abandoned, or maybe someone has been abandoned in the past, someone is just looking at that shit like, what you talking about, Willis? Uh, you know, they're not trying to hear the shit, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't want to hear it, okay? Actions definitely is going to have to speak louder than words in this particular scenario. But yeah, some of you guys, there's resistance to a new start. <clears throat> Someone wants to kind of do what they want to do, what the hell they want to do. <laughs> Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Some of you guys are moving away from trying to control the situation, just accepting everything, keeping your serenity and protecting your damn peace and accepting everything around certain matters in which you can't control. Yeah. Movement forward. Some of you guys are moving towards an Aries person. Some of you guys, this can have to do with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and improving a matter, renewing the situation, wanting to put in 
effort, okay? For some of you all, you're materializing. Some of you guys are actually starting a new business, and it looks damn good, okay? With this ace of uh, clubs here, it looks damn good. I mean, this is actually what is destined for you, all right? You're really needing to go with your intuition and move forward. For some of you all, this has to do with moving forward away from a job. And I definitely see fulfillment, okay? Fulfillment being here. For some of you all, you've been patiently waiting for the opportunity to have the opportunity to renew a matter or to um, move forward or have some type of momentum or to see some type of progress in momentum. And I definitely look, it, it looks good here, Sag. There is healing coming to what looks like could also be a family situation, okay? And I feel like you're needing not to, <clears throat> excuse me, you're needing not to you really need to balance your thoughts, balance your emotions, okay? Still keeping going, still making progress, but balance, temper your emotions during this time. And you're really needing to not put so much worry into what could go wrong because things can definitely go right as well. Only manifest, only manifest positive things so that that's, so that that could be what you materialize in your reality, okay? So, wherever that mind swells, wherever that mind dwells, that is where your reality swells. And with that being said, outcome, Ace of Cups, newness, divine love. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the sign of Pisces, but it's infinite. This is destined. So Spirit is saying, make that move so God can show you who God is, okay? You're needing to trust, blind faith, make a decision, make a decision to move forward and progress, whether it's with your partner, without your partner, but definitely choose you if you don't choose nobody else. You understand? Think about it. But this is what I have for my Saturdays between now and the 28th of February. I love you all so very much. If you need that reading, information is below. Hit me up. Much love, much light, peace, abundance to you all, many blessings, you guys, and namaste. Bye, babies.